Looking for a fun, new, exciting way to play fantasy sports? Make sure to check out FanDuel. Use code BENGAL at sign up for a $20 deposit bonus when you enter that code. It is the best and most fun way to play daily fantasy sports. I know I play fantasy football for the daily fantasy sports all the time. I can't really handle the grind of the season. So this is just the best way and the most fun way for me to play any type of fantasy sports. I've been doing it for a couple of years now. And FanDuel is just absolutely the best. So make sure to use code BENGAL at sign up. $20 deposit bonus. And also, if you guys want to check out my second and third channels for other videos and games you might see with some of your other favorite YouTubers that I collab with. Make sure you check that out. Both links are in the description. What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on Madden NFL 19. Connected franchise featuring the New York Giants. We got a couple of upgrade points before we play our week 16 matchup against the Seattle Seahawks. They are 6-8. and eight. Hopefully should not be much of a challenge. Of course, the NFC East is as tight as it's ever been. The Redskins are 9-5. The Giants are 9-5, Cowboys 8-6, still very much in the race if they win out, and then the Eagles are 6-8, uh, they're not going to make it. it. Sucks to suck, but we're going to upgrade these players, hopefully that gets us over the hump, we can take the division. Roman Pugh, some people wanted me to go into finesse moves on him, you know, make him a complete pass rusher, and I do like that, but also, we're going to focus on his bread and butter first. And then maybe go over to finesse moves at a later date. So power rush is going up. Doesn't impact power move at all. <laughs> Alex Espinosa, we're going to go run stopper. Gets him up to a 90 overall as a rookie. Having a crazy season. I didn't see what it boosted because I was going too fast. I think we're going to go zone on Jalen Mills. He's been struggling a little bit, but he always seems to get an interception. So more people love him than they should. Plus the three, the three to zone coverage is big. Gets him up to an 89. And then Trent Brown, probably a pass protector, right? Oh, he cannot run block for anything. That's a problem. We'll go pass protector. Get him better at what he's great at. So pass protector goes up a little bit. I'll take that. And then Lawrence Thomas, rookie defensive tackle out of what, Nebraska? Somewhere out of Nebraska. He looks pretty good. He has great power move, good block shed. He's not slow at 70 speed. We're going to go back in a power move, make him a power rusher type, more so than he already is. 82 overall, very small boost there, and then the rest don't really matter, so we'll have the CPU take care of that. As far as scouting goes, apparently with the receiver, if you guys did not watch last episode, you don't know about the receiver, but he had his stats just go up big time. And that may, in fact, be due to a news story about him. And yep, as both receiver and defensive back, Dequarius Henry was a player the likes of which college football has rarely seen. Today, his efforts were rewarded as he was named the winner, I believe, of the Heisman Trophy. Yes, Henry, cap season with Heisman. All right. And also, Ladarius Maxwell out of Bethune-Cookman we'll look into. Kobe Hansen topped Aaron Cottom. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's look at Ladarius Maxwell. Here he is, hybrid. B man, C tackle, C pursuit. Doesn't look particularly inspiring, if I'm going to be honest. Nobody really does at this position. We don't need a safety, though. We're so set at safety, it's not even funny. So we're not going to worry about it. But these two receivers, Davian Keel and Dequarius Henry, look very very good especially the heisman winner six foot four played defensive back as well i mean we kind of have to take him right <laughs> we kind of have to where does he rank overall to henry top 10 we are not going to have a top 10 pick Ooh, this could be a very interesting offseason when we get there of course we'll be live streaming on twitch the twitch link will of course be in the description as always twitch.tv slash bangle i do want to re-sign ryan ramchick though we have a lot of cap room but that's because we have some players that are either a going to be leaving in maybe olivier vernon maybe damon harrison that have been taking up quite a bit of our salary cap evan ingram dalvin tomlinson or some other top players so we do have some money ryan ramchick is a priority 26 years old we'll wrap him up for six years Maybe like four, eight, four, seven, six. How about it? 
Ryan Ramchek resigns. I also want to get, while I'm here, Evan Ingram. 25. We can do another six-year deal. Worth pretty much five. Uh, let's do five on the nose for Evan Ingram. He will accept. And then Dalvin Tomlinson is the last one I'm going to concern myself with for right now. 26 years. That's a lot of money for a defensive tackle. But he is going to be our star. Sign him till he's what? So right now it would be 30. This is 31. Defensive tackles. We're going to do till he's 31. We can't pay him all this money. We're going to do six salary signing bonus of $3 million. We're going to make this offer. And Dalvin Tomlinson accepts as well. So the only players we've not targeted yet in our top group. Damon Harrison, who is 31. Olivier Vernon, who is 29. And then the rest I'm not really bothered with right now. But this is a very good team. 91 offense, 99 defense. I think we should be able to come out and win the Super Bowl again. Kind of a rocky season at 9-5, and five, but it's not terrible. We have a huge overall bonus over the Seahawks. Hopefully we can come out here and make that count. Show that on the field. Come out of here with the win. All right, Giants-Seahawks. Live from CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. What an angle this is, by the way. Big props. This is a great angle. But it doesn't matter about angles, all right? It matters about the New York football giants. In this particular franchise, they are sick. Let's not really talk about real life. Is that Cam Chancellor? I don't know if we're going to be seeing him run onto the field again. It's a great catch, Doug Baldwin. <laughs> Keep working on that. You're not Odell. We got Odell. Seattle obviously looking to drive here. Russell Wilson in an empty set. He's going to face pressure, and down he goes. Dalvin Tomlinson up the middle. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. The big guy is getting the action. Big third down and long for the Seattle offense. Russell Wilson again in an empty set. Get after him, Roman Pugh. He's throwing and finds a receiver. It is Demarcus Robinson. Short of the first down, but our defense has to step up. I like that we're not allowing, you know, real big plays or first downs or anything like that. But we can't be allowing these completions even as we are pinned at our own four. We go Wayne Gallman. Forgot that we don't have Saquon. That could be a very big issue coming into the playoffs. I kind of forgot that he was injured. If you guys did not watch last episode, you don't know about that. What are you doing, by the way? But also, yeah, Saquon is out for like eight weeks. Really bad timing. But we do have the beast that is Wayne Gallman. He's been unstoppable, it seems. So we're going to try to continue that trend here today. Feeding number 22 as Kyle Aletta surpasses 4,000 yards. we got Evan Ingram. He's open. The speedy tight end joker hybrid. Might look to get him involved a lot more. You know, put him in the slot. Just scheme him open. He's a huge mismatch. He's got tremendous size and speed. And I really want to utilize that. We like to uh, fade him quite a bit. But he's someone I would really want to get targeted. We're going to roll out with Kyle. Trying to find something. We're going to scramble with him. Can't get free. We do pick up two yards. Frank Clark was right there, though. Gallman is the tailback. He will get the handoff, and he is met at the line. But pushes through Jerron Reed and KJ Wright picking up the first down. Moving the chains for this giant offense. Oh, tried to go deep for Evan. We had a favorable matchup. Frank Clark is in there. He's going to be a problem for offensive line today. I guess Trent Brown, even with his high pass block, can't handle him. Third and 15. This is just a situation where we take a shot. We're going to block Kershaw out of the backfield and just see if somebody gets open. Chancellor's on the blitz. And we're going to throw for Beckham. He is open. How are you going to leave KJ Wright, as we're going to try to take advantage of that even more, a linebacker in coverage versus Odell Beckham Jr.? They're going to change... Their defensive look. Let's go ahead and move Carlos Kershaw out wide. Open up the middle of the field maybe a bit more. We'll send him on a, a fade as well. Pretty much all fades down the middle of the field. And we're going to go short. And that's intercepted by Earl Thomas. Didn't like any of the, the matchups downfield. Tried to go short. They were in man coverage. And it's going the other way. Terrible decision by me. And the Seahawks have it back. We got to capitalize in those situations. As Mason going to get the handoff. 
He, I believe, is a rookie running back, not an actual player. I know he's not an actual player, but I think he's a rookie. Maybe a two-year guy. Not positive. Someone tackle Mason, man. It's going to be another guy that's... Oh, no. It's an issue, but the injured man is giant starting middle linebacker. Rookie of the year on the defensive side of the ball, almost certainly. Alexander Espinoza. B.J. Goodson will be his replacement for the time being, but that could be a huge loss. Here's another handoff. Landon Collins makes a fantastic play. Is that Jeremy Hill? Was he on the Eddie Lacy diet? He looks about 300 and... Oh, no. Alex Espinoza has a shoulder tear. He is out not only for the game, but probably the season as well. How are we going to lose arguably our best player on each side of the ball? In Saquon Barkley and Dalvin Tomlinson in these final couple games of the season. That is so tough. We're sending some real heat up the middle. Let's go ahead and use our Derwin James. And that's going to be a user pick. Easy reads. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And Derwin James has a pick six. I'll use her the safety a little bit. Why not? 58 yards to the house for the midseason acquisition. Picked up via trade from the Chargers. Don't put me in man coverage. I'll take the ball away every time. Is this a run? Damon Harrison would have been all over it. Wilson going one-on-one -on -one versus a linebacker, but it's not any average linebacker. It's Lorenzo Carter. The great wall of Carter getting a hand in there. Honestly, not a good matchup. You think maybe tight end versus linebacker is usually a pretty good matchup? You're going to find that a lot? No, Lorenzo Carter is an incredible athlete. May as well be a safety with some of his current attributes as a handoff goes to Rashad Penny. He's going to break a tackle. Derwin James lucky almost to wrap him up. Rashad Penny looking like he did at, uh, what, San Diego State and the Aztecs? Wilson going one-on-one, -on -one and it's dropped. The interception was in the hands of Landon Collins, and he can't haul it in. Oh, that's uh, unfortunate to say the least. This is a bad Seahawks offensive line. We need to make Russell Wilson pay, and that's wide open. Doug Baldwin breaks a Morris Dubose tackle, stays on his feet through a Landon Collins tackle. Lawrence Thomas can't make the play. Rashad Penny goes through some more Giants. Three rushes, 37 yards. That is a ridiculous average. And the Seahawks are doing a lot more than knocking on the door. They're breaking it down. Avery Moss is in. This injury from Espinosa really hurts us. Look at the personnel we have in. Benson is one. Going one-on-one. -on -one. That's your matchup to Doug Baldwin. They had two receivers wide open over the middle, but they find Doug Baldwin against Landon Collins, and they find the end zone. Going to be 7-7. What is happening to this defense without Alex Espinosa? Do we give Howard Russell a one-on-one -on -one down the field? He has speed. That's a good matchup. Oh, and pressure got there. They sent Bobby Wagner on the inside blitz. Third and 18. Let's try a lob pass for Ingram. Break the tackle. He stays on his feet, and he's still going. Evan Ingram is unstoppable. That's a huge third down conversion. Evan Ingram not only made the catch, on a beautiful touch pass from Kyle Aletta, but broke several tackles. He's looking like Rashad Penny. On the run for Ingram. What a ball from Kyle Aletta. He's playing a pretty good game. I know the interception sucks, but we have the receiving personnel where they should be open a lot. They are getting open a little bit. What do we want here? Maybe Odell. Kind of looking at all of our options. Trying to step up in the pocket. Is Trent Brown even playing this game? Got in there far too quick for my liking. We will settle for the three-point try. Splitting the sticks, making it 10-7 in favor of the big blue wrecking crew. Not looking like a wrecking crew right now. We need to step up. That's, oh, a great play from Jalen Mills. Are you kidding me? That's beautiful coverage. We're going to force a punt. That's awesome stuff from Jalen Mills. I know I really... Just tear him a new uh, butthole. 
but it's a great play. Oh, come on, man. Waiting for something to develop, and I think it's Trent Brown who's beat again. This time by Bruce Urban. He's back in Seattle. Might be good for a one-on-one -on -one deep shot here. We're going to step up. Come on, man. This time, Barkevious Mingo finds the pressure. I, I can't help but stare at, at the defensive line coming in because I'm not getting the time for these routes to develop. They sent Heat on third down. I mean, it's a good play call, but it just sucks for me, and I over-pursue that. I want to force Russell Wilson to get rid of it quickly, and sending pressure might be the way. That's great coverage for Morris DuBose on a quick out from Tyler Lockett. He just can't stop the catch. And there it is, finally pressure. We scheme the sack to BJ Goodson. Thank God. Come on. That's going to be open. Let's just wrap up, please, on third and long. There we go. We're also going to call a timeout. We're going to have probably, what, 54 seconds and uh, two timeouts to work with when we get the ball back on offense. Oh, they're blitzing a lot. That's Sterling Shepard quick. You got to outrun him to the sideline. There we go. Saving those timeouts. All right, I'm hoping this one could absolutely destroy the Seattle defense. Rolling out with Kyle. That's going to be a tough throw. But we fit it in to Odell Beckham Jr. What a ball from Kyle Aletta. How do you keep leaving linebackers on Odell? Oh, and that's picked off. Are you kidding me? Where's the high point? L1 up. Why is that ball a bullet pass? Okay. We turned over the ball in the red zone. Exactly what I didn't want to do. That is going to be the half, though. 10-10. New York Giants at Seattle. That's wide open. It's Rhett Ellison. What are you doing, Carlos? Carlos Kershaw just stops. Doesn't even try to block at all. I know usually Rhett Ellison's the one blocking for you. Maybe you could return the favor. Play action. We're not going to have time again. And that's going to be the strip sack. Bruce Irvin houses it. This offensive line has been absolutely disastrous. It really has been. We've turned over the ball three times now. We're lucky we're only down by seven with this extra point. This has been a disastrous showing from the Giants. Rolling out with Laletta. Somebody get open. That's another... Oh, wow. Throw the ball away. I'm playing like ass. That's open over the middle, and that's a great juke from Robinson. Seattle moving the chains again. They're going to run the ball. They're going to throw it, I mean. And that is Derwin James on a wide receiver. Tyler Lockett into the end zone for the touchdown. It's going to be 24-10 Seattle in a game that we cannot afford to lose. That's a great spin back by Wayne Gallman. I know it's only a yard, but that would have been surely a big stop in the backfield. Maybe two gives us. Now we're suddenly facing third and five. Back-to-back -back plays to Gallman. Their defense has played so well in this game. Their coverage has been on point, except for there. Evan Ingram quickly picks up the first down. Again, Kyle Aletta, he's not had a terrible game, but the turnovers make it a terrible game. Like, passing, he's been accurate. Two picks, my fault, mainly. The fumbles have been ridiculous. They're blitzing again. I'm going to have to throw it away. What is up? They send more heat. Nothing's open. I have no time. KJ Wright sacks me this year. We've been sacked nine times. Every time they blitz, our offensive line has no idea how to handle it. We got to go max protect almost. But I do want to send Evan Ingram out on a route. We're going to step up. We had circle maybe, but I couldn't I couldn't hit it. I couldn't throw that ball with that pressure coming in like that. Fourth and six from the 45. I mean, we don't really have a lot of option here. We're faking it. That, that was a bad, bad decision. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's play action. We need a turnover here. Wilson going to scramble. 
Benson's not fast enough. And then we try to go for the hit stick with Dubose. Russell Wilson, 37 yards to the end zone. Oh, this is this game's been something else. Down 31 to 10. Bad decisions and misfortune have us in this position. But catch the ball! Ingram, there we go. He drops the... I'm about to be sick. I'm going to throw up on the mic, man. What is going on? No one can catch. Pressure's coming in every play. They're blitzing every play. The short routes are always covered. Third and ten. That's open. Howard Russell. That's got to be a first down. Thank you. Just need more blockers and more time. Over the middle for Beckham Jr. Odell takes it to about midfield. Give me something here. We're going to have to step up with Kyle. There's space. Slide. Slide. He's fumbled the ball. And it is recovered by the Giants. We're very lucky to have that one. I tried to slide here. And then I got that animation. And of course the ball would pop out. They're blitzing a lot. Oh, Howard Russell burned. It's underthrown. Howard Russell can't catch it. Oh, man, he burned the cornerback. That's Chris Harris Jr. on the Seahawks now? A score really gets us right back in this game, though. We, it's not going to happen. Jerron Reed. Dude, do we have an offensive line? Like, actually, do we have one? I don't think so. Sterling Shepard, I need you to catch that. Thank you. That's going to be the third quarter. We're not going to get this playoff. Or will we? We might have a chance. Nope. It's going to be the fourth quarter, 11 minutes to come back, down 21. There's Gallman, though. Hurdle! I got to stop using that feature. It's, it's so dangerous. It's so dangerous. Somebody get open here. Come on. Russell! Touchdown on the slant. Let's go. We're not dead yet. We're not done yet. We need to take advantage and make them pay. You gotta wrap up, though. You gotta wrap up. Wilson trying to scramble. Throws for a wide-open receiver. Charles Clay, the tight end. That's gotta be a pick. It's picked off by Darwin James. His second of the game. Let's go. That's the turnover we needed to make a change in this game. To get back in it. His eighth pick on the season. Let's go, Derwin. We're going to max protect, and we're looking for that post. That's open, though. It's Sterling Shepard. He gets out of bounds. Cam Chancellor right there. But that's going to help us out. Let him go! He's tackled by his ankles. Ah. All right, huge play right here. Fourth and eight. No Odell on the field. Stings a lot. But we got Howard Russell, who catches it. On 4th and 8 to keep the drive alive. That might turn out to be the biggest play of the entire game here. Outside. Shepard holds on. We're driving. Get Odell back on the field, please. Step up. White Lightning! We're going to slide. We're not that crazy. 8 rushes today for Kyle Aletta. Faced a lot of pressure, to be fair. Howard Russell! He holds on! Touchdown on the slant again! His second touchdown of the game and a huge one. To bridge the gap to just a touchdown. Penning the extra point, we're going to take this thing. Make it 31-24. A touchdown game, a seven-point game. Five minutes to play. We're back in it. Defense, step up. We're going to bring up Jalen Mills to the line. Get after Wilson. Mason's wide open over the middle. We need a stop. That had to be it. It's a pump draw. We're all over it. Rashad Penny has nowhere to go. It's a screen. Someone get over there. What a play by Damon Harrison. And we are not going to have to call this timeout. A huge third down stop. And this will take us. There. It's not even going to take us to the two minute warning. They're going to punt it early. It's a good punt, though. Two-minute drill, Kyle. Three timeouts with the assistance of the two-minute warning. Make it four. No turnovers, man. Here we go. 
That's a great lob ball. Ingram, stay in bounds. He got the toe drag in the first. First and 10. We're going to throw that ball. Beckham nearly intercepted by Chris Harris Jr. We need a better play on that ball, Odell. That's not the right button. And it's off McKay. I tried to go short. I press X instead of triangle. And it should have been caught. Third and ten. We're going to step up with Laletta. And we're going to run. There's room. Get out of bounds. Thank you. We still have a lot of field to cover. But we've been good about saving our timeouts. And Laletta fumbles the ball. I have circle wide open over the middle. The slowest release in the game. Easily. We're going to need time on this. We might actually get it. Odell has it over the top. And Kyle Laletta misses the throw. We have a minute and nine seconds. Three timeouts. If we go for it and don't make it, it's an automatic game over. If we punt the ball and then play defense and get the stops, I think we at least have a chance. That's my thought process. Feel free to disagree, but we're not we're not converting a fourth and 22. It's a good first stop by Roman Pugh. Timeout. It's another run. It's another good stop by the defensive line. It's a tough spot. That sack killed it. Fourth and eight, maybe I go for it. Fourth and 22, I can't. It's a run up the middle. What is Rashad Penny doing? He had daylight. They're going to punt the ball back. That's a huge tackle from behind by Damon Harrison. And I need Morris DuBose to get us out of this hole. 99 speed is, is a good thing to have, but his spins are so bad. Only real positive you can take away is that now some of our players are, are more rested up. We're going to start with a screen and get out of bounds with Howard Russell. That's great pursuit. We only got two yards on that. We have Odell down the seam. Hey, what are you doing? Where's my animation? Oh my god. What is this? He burns Earl Thomas. The ball's right there. He doesn't even make an effort for it. Oh, we have it again. It's Sterling Shepard and he drops the ball. Is this not scripted? What is going on here? And I tried to throw it a circle. He doesn't throw the ball. He pressure gets in. That's the ball game. Wow, what an unbelievable loss. We were sacked 11 times, man. 11 times. Where's my offensive line? Not all those sacks are on me, I'll tell you that. And near the end of the game with the BS that happened, I'm genuinely mad. Um, You can't say we outplayed the Seahawks because we didn't. You can't say we deserved to win because we didn't. At the end of the day, we turned over the ball twice through the air. Four times we fumbled with Kyle Aletta. One of those, a couple of those probably my fault. Two of them, I tried to slide. Well, one of them with Kyle Aletta. And then some of them, I just like, I don't know how he's fumbling the ball in some of these spots. Wayne Gallman was non-existent today because the offensive line was non-existent. Their offensive line in Seattle was unbeatable. Sterling Shepard had a ton of catches. He played well overall. Howard Russell's two touchdowns. Just short range kind of guy. We had a lot of completions, but couldn't find the end zone when it mattered. Trent Brown gave up four sacks. Absolutely abysmal. We got no pressure. We allowed so much pressure. Derwin James was a, just an absolute animal. It was the game for the safeties today as they combined for four picks on uh, either side of the ball. Each team, I should say. So many forced fumbles for Seattle. They recovered only two of them, but, I mean, they stung. Two defensive touchdowns, but, like, I don't even know what to title this video, man. What even was this game? Every If you guys remember 49ers franchise, you know Seahawks. They give me some trouble. And, wow, that, that is exemplified here today. That was uh, a really, really frustrating game. I know a lot of you guys like to see me rage. Well, I mean, you got it here today. And especially now with the injury to Alex Espinoza. 
who is out for five weeks. Maybe we'll get him back, depending on how far we make it in the Super Bowl, but this didn't, or two, you know, in the playoffs to the Super Bowl. This did not look like a Super Bowl caliber team here today. It really did not, as uh, we dropped to third in the division with that loss. Okay, and we're cutting it close. There is uh, no division winner yet in the NFC. Redskins 10 and 5. Cowboys 9 and 6. Giants 9 and 6. This is going to be a very interesting week 17 to see if we can actually make the playoffs because uh, right now, it, it, it doesn't really look great for us. I'll tell you that. I don't know if we're going to make the playoffs. I really don't. Derwin James upgraded to a 97 with confidence. Speed even goes up. That's huge. 93 speed for Derwin James now. I love that. We got to beat the Browns, man. We got to beat the Browns. It's going to be next week, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.